Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator and in today's episode you guys are seeing on the screen we get the chance to play around with a very very early access version of Beyond ATC and we're going to be doing a full flight with it so stick around. If you are interested in acquiring any of my Overkill's tutorial guides or simply interested in supporting the channel, please consider joining me on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier 2 and above have access to all of my guides as well as any future guides that come along down the road. Patreon link can be found in the description below and thank you to all of my current subscribers. All right, you guys, so if you're anything like me, you're probably already dancing in your seat. Can't wait to hear this thing in action, get it going. So I have a couple of disclaimers and an announcement that I need you guys to stick with me on. I'm gonna do my best not to do the typical overkill rambling, but please, please stay with me until the end. Trust me, you want to hear all of this. Okay, so first off, this is a very, very, very early work in progress um, version of this release. I have been in contact with one of the, the developers since the Flight Sim Expo. Very, very nice man. There's more to come on that, and we're going to talk about that in a second here. Uh, but he was kind enough to give me a an exclusive release of the version of the of the current build. Okay, now with that being said, it is still again I cannot stress enough a very much so work in progress. And there's two reasons why I'm going to tell you guys that. Number one is because I've had an amazing time with it already. I'm blown away. This thing is a work in progress and it's freaking amazing. Okay. Two is because if we run into bugs, issues, things like that, it is extremely early work in progress. So much so that in order for him to provide me with the build that I have, many of the features of the software had to be disabled. And we're gonna talk more about that, but there's a reason why I mentioned that to you guys. The reason why I mentioned that features in the software had to be disabled in order to provide me with this build is because if you are like me, and it behaves the way I think it's going to, you guys are gonna be blown away and you're gonna be like, whoa, wait, there's things that aren't even in this yet, that there's things that are disabled, this thing's amazing, because I'm blown away by it. It's, it's astonishing to me. Which brings me to our announcement. Our announcement is either tomorrow, being Tuesday the 11th, or uh, possibly Thursday the 13th at the latest. I'm going to be doing an exclusive interview with the lead developer of Beyond ATC. So make sure that you guys listen to this part very carefully. If you have questions that you want answered about Beyond ATC on my Discord channel, which a link to it can be found in the description below. Again, a link to my Discord is in the description below of all of my videos. Make sure that you guys join it. And on my Discord, there will be a channel titled Interview Questions. If there are questions that you guys want me to ask the developer about Beyond ATC, please post them there. That way I can do my best to get as many of those answered for you guys as I can. Okay, again, this is going to be an exclusive interview with the develop one of the de developers of Beyond ATC. And uh, I think you guys are gonna really enjoy this opportunity. So last time, this is very much so a work in progress. Please keep an open mind. I don't think that's gonna be necessary. I think you guys are gonna love it. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, as far as the Beyond ATC window that you guys are seeing on the screen, um, I may not always leave that on. I'll probably be going back and forth, but uh, the audio is really where it's at, right? A couple things that I'm gonna check real quick is make sure that my bindings are still here. They are indeed. UI sounds, I like to have disabled. And I think that's it for the moment. Okay. Um, the only thing that I'm gonna show you guys, okay, so other ATCs, I'm actually gonna show you guys this real quick. Other ATC programs, okay, make you use the Windows Voice Recognition Trainer. Okay, Windows, for those of you who have never used one before, Windows has a built-in voice recognition trainer, which basically you just continuously read a script over and over and over until it gets your, uh, starts learning the way your accent may be or the way you talk or the way you enunciate certain words. It's a pain in the butt. Yes, it works in the end, but you have to do it repeatedly. Hit it, you know, good, nice, repetitively in order to get a good experience from it. I'm gonna show you guys the only training that we have to do with this one. And by the way, I've already done this. I do not have to do this again. I am showing this for your benefit. Oh no, hold on. I gotta change the window it's showing. I just saw that it's not doing it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stay with me. 
Uh, oh, it's not going to show the whole thing. Okay, hang on. Let me switch the window because I just noticed that it's not showing you what I'm seeing. I'm glad I'm watching that. I'm glad I caught that. Let's do this for now. There we go. That'll work for now. Okay, so I'm going to grab this. Make it bigger for you guys. There we go. Okay. So here's all I'm going to do. United 259, turn left, heading 060, contact departure 125.9. Southwest 1132, Tucson International. And that's Go it. Ahead. That's all I needed. Your My voice training is done. Okay. So we're going to bring this one back. I'm going to actually shut that one down and bring that one back. And actually, we've got a minute here. So let's get some power going on and then we'll bring this back up. So let's get through this. Um, my startup process is not going to be particularly accurate today, guys. That's obviously not the focal point. I even debated just starting the aircraft up. Um, but you know, some of it's kind of fun to watch everything. So we're just going to walk through this. Okay. All right, cool. And my MCDU is working. By the way, I'm using the Fergo MCDU, which allows me to control the FMS or FMC from a tablet. So you guys aren't going to see my mouse moving on it. What am I missing? Ground power. There we go. All right. And all of that jazz stays off. We can turn our packs on for now. We're under ground power. Got our position lights on. Okay, cool. Oh, hey, probably should get the IRS going, huh? Um. Anyway, Fergo FMS, ten dollars, and you can control your. I think it's called Fergo CDU. I'm sorry, but ten dollars flightsim.to, and uh, you can control your um, FMC from literally any screen uh, that uh, that you have. Cell phone, anything that has access to your Wi-Fi. That's on the same Wi-Fi network and anything that has a web browser. Slick program. And uh, obviously we have to wait for some things to power up. So what we can do is we can at least load in our weights and balances. We're going to do that the fast way today. Let me make sure OBS is recording what I want it to. Good. Okay. All right. So let the games begin. And the uh, response time of this is very, very nice. So we're going to go to fuel. Again, I'm doing all of this on a 10-inch Android tablet, 13640. Oops, that was my fault. It went too fast. Okay, and there. Good. Return. Payload. Uh, what do we got? I'm just going on my flight sim profile here or on my sim brief excuse me not flight sim and let's see here passengers we've got 171 passengers on board today i haven't used this fergo thing in so long i keep reaching for the mouse um and cargo's 9.4 of course it is 9.4 so what that, what's that gonna be that's gonna be 4.7 right yeah 4700 pounds in the front. Did I put too much? There it goes. It is a little slow for me today, and I actually think that's my tablet. My tablet's been acting really slow lately. And it's funny, too, because I never use it. Like, literally, never use it. All right, so we are fueled. We are loaded with cargo. So let's head on back here. And let's go to our FMC and position initialization. And let's go to our next page. Copy the GPS left. All right. You know what? Never mind. This is not working real well today. And it's my tablet, guys. I can tell you right now it's my tablet. It's not the software. My tablet's been running like crap lately. I really don't know why. I never use it. Like, I never use it. Anyway, so we are at KTUS. We're just going to have to go with the old... The old-fashioned way. Skywest 3782. Request taxi to the gate. I don't know who, why we're tuned in the ground. Skywest 3782. Like taxi to ramp 6 via Alpha Echo. Taxi to ramp 6 via Alpha Echo. Skywest 3782. 
Hmm. Anyway, you guys can just enjoy that for right now. We're going to get our ATIS in a minute. Uh, let's see here. Let's go to... Where are we? Root. Copy KTUS up. I'm going to shut that browser down so I can figure out what's going on there. Destination, we are going to Kila Lima Alpha X-Ray. That's right, Los Angeles. Southwest Airlines Flight 1132 flying direct to L.A. Go. Let's go to the next page. Oh, no, that's not what I want. I want departures and arrivals. Departures and arrivals. And actually, first, we should probably get ADIS and clearance. So let's start working on that. Here's where this gets exciting. Boom! Okay, let me make sure everything's up on OBS for you guys, because that would be kind of lame if it wasn't. All right, so this part I'll show you guys. Now, um, we're not going to auto-tune yet, but I will show you guys the auto-tune feature. Uh, same with the auto-respond. We may do the auto-respond. I kind of like to just do it myself, but there is an auto respond feature that works very, very well. Um, but it's very possible I'll forget to do it because I really enjoy doing this. Um, so let's pull up, I need to pull up my Navigraph charts and I need to get my ATIS frequency for Tucson International. So give me just a minute here. I thought I had it up already. And we're gonna go to comms, ATIS, Automatic Terminal Information Services, 123.8. So let's uh, kick that down here. And here we go, one, two, three. And as soon as I swap it, it'll automatically tune it in beyond ATC. Mean three, three, zero at zero nine. Gusts one five. Visibility one zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature four one. Two point one three. Altimeter two nine nine one. Departing runway 11 left. Advise on initial contact. You have information hotel. All right, so we have information hotel. Departing 11 left today. Let's make sure that's what we have in Simbrief. We are? Cool. All right, so let's continue on entering in our flight plan. I'm going to go ahead and close the window for now. And let's get back down there. Boop. Okay, and we are departing today out of the Burrow 4. So we're going to be using the Burrow 4 with the Gila Bend transition. Taken out of one runway 11 left. Heading over to the route page. Going to the next page. From the Gila Bend, we're going to be jumping on to the Juliet 104. Jumping off at Messi. Oh, I didn't get my clearance. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm, 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 it's funny. I'm excited. The thing that I'm excited to use, I keep forgetting. Okay, let's do it again. Here we go. Ah. All right. So going back to my charts, I got to figure out what my clearance is. Give me a second. Uh, clearance and delivery. One two six six five. So now's where we're gonna poke on back down here. And one, two, six. One, two, six, six, five. There we go. And that should have swapped. I just realized it is not updating for you guys. Interesting. Okay, so we'll go back to the other way. Hang on. I just caught that. And this is OBS. This is not to do the software. If I go back to display capture, you guys will see what I'm seeing again. There we go. No biggie. Bring it down. There we go. Okay. Not a worry. Check this out. You guys ready for this? <clears throat> bumblebee, bumblebee, bumblebee. Okay, I'm good. Uh, oh, because I have auto-tune radio turned off. That would be why that stopped working. Um, anyway. Oh, no. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Ignore that comment. Uh, okay, here we go. <sighs> Tucson clearance. Southwest 1132 requesting IFR clearance for Los Angeles. Southwest 1132. Tucson hmm. clearance. Cleared to Los Angeles International Airport. Burrow 4 departure with a GBN transition. Then is filed. Climb via SID except maintain 8000. Departure frequency 128.5. Squawk 4013.
cleared to Los Angeles using the Barrel 4 departure with the Gila Bend transition. Then as filed, climb via the SID, except maintain 8,000. Departure frequency 128.5, squawk 4013 for Southwest 1132. Southwest 1132, read back correct. Contact ground 120.02 when ready for pushback and engine start. Contact ground on 2002 when ready for pushback, Southwest 1132. Tell me that isn't badass. Did you guys hear? I did not give the information back correctly uh, in the in the correct format. I didn't use the Bravo Uniform Romeo Romeo 04. I didn't use the GBN transition. I said Gila Ben, which is what that transition is. And it picked up everything. It picked up freaking everything. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> this is so much fun. I love this software. Okay, I'm going to take it off the window for a minute. We got to get our uh, the rest of our information into the computer. Ah, oh, it's so awesome. These guys just, they're going to reshape the game for ATC. I mean, that was perfect. Uh, from there, we are going direct to Eastwood. Oh, I can't wait for you guys to see the rest of this. This is so cool. Um, and there we go. All right, from there, we're going to be jumping on to the Los Angeles International. We're going to be using the Hollywood One. We're going to be using the Eastwood transition. We are expecting runway 24 right today. So ILS 24 right. And we would be expecting the Cebu transition. Okie dokie. So now let's go over to route again. Activate. Trust me, I've flown this one a few times. We shouldn't have any issues. There shouldn't be anything going on except for Bruin. We do need to change the speed at Bruin. We're going to make it 244. I don't know why it does this. It's 244 below it, 244 after it. And then it wants 280 in between. So I don't know why it wants that speed target, but it's BS. All right, so next page. And then there at Cebu, we're back up to 270 knots. Honestly, I could probably bump the other ones up, but I don't feel like doing that right now. Okay, so let's continue onwards. Uh, and back to the initial reference. Okay, we are already fueled. We are already loaded. So let's see here, cost index. I believe our cost index for this flight is five. Cost index of five. Final reserves on the fuel, 2.4. Zero fuel weight, give that a tap. Cruise altitude today, we're going to 34,000. Flight level 340. Uh, top of climb winds, let's see here. Top of climb winds, 298 at 15 knots. Come on, come back to me. 298 for 15 knots. Excellent, and one limit. Uh, we will use one D rate. Climb one, take off. Flaps five. Set our V speed. Trim. There we go. Execute. Go back to the N one limit. Take off. Six points. Well, we'll just call it six. On the trim wheel. Is it negative? Is it no? Come on, come on, come on, come on! Ah, oh, you guys are gonna love this. This is so cool. It's absolutely just the neatest damn thing ever. Okay, moving forward. Clear our master caution. Uh, actually, I need to get back into the FMC for a second. We need to go to the menu. Ground services, ground services. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Crap, I hit the wrong button. <sighs> well, that's going to slow things down. No, I don't want you to disconnect. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yes. I really hope that didn't screw everything else up. Yes, I know. Every time I ever have an issue like that, it ruins all kinds of things. I really hope this doesn't screw up the flight. Um, anyway, well, while we're waiting for that to come back, let's kick everybody else away because that's what I meant to do. <sighs> that's what I get for getting trigger happy. I totally did not mean to do that. All right, let's get back upstairs. Uh, hello, Norman. Okay. Let's hope everything's saved. Three. 
Oops. I hit the space bar. I didn't mean to. Um, and I actually thought I had turned space bar off as my... I did. Okay, so I will talk to our guy about that. I had spacebar cleared as my activation button, but it looks like it's still transmitting with it. So that's fine. Spacebar is the default communication, so that's okay. All right, now we can come back over here for a second. I need to go back to the FMC, make sure nothing got screwed up. Um, we need to go to... All right, so we know we have 147. I'm going to do 147 plus 5. That's going to put us at 152 for just for a little bit better takeoff. We know that our clearance for altitude is 8,000. And our runway heading is 132 degrees. <clears throat> Am I going the right way? No, I'm not. 123 two, one, degrees. 123 degrees for our runway. And let's see here. I think that's it for the FCP. Let's do... No, not auto throttle. Damn it. Flight director's on. There's our flight directors. Let's go back upstairs. Let's get the APU started. After we turn our fuel pumps on. Yaw damper on, electric hydraulic pumps on. I told you guys I am not too concerned with my startup process today. Set our cruise altitude up oh. for 34,000. There we go. And our landing elevation at 250 feet. Beautiful. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and turn the anti collision lights on now. Looks like everything survived my little mishap there. That was really annoying. Uh, let's see here. And we are stabilized. APU gen. Why didn't you switch over? She didn't need the bleed. There it goes. That's interesting. You should only need the bleed for engine start. Okay. Hey, come on, plane. Don't do this to me. That one wasn't my fault. Okay. No, oh, I just saw something else that happened up there. All right. Seatbelt signs. Chime. Love it. I've been ignoring a bunch of things, and the chime is what I'm worried about. Okay, and let's come back down to the cockpit, and now it's time to do a final walkthrough here. The FMC is set. Oh, I never set my squat code. Four, zero, one, three. And let's set altitude reporting as off. Okay, let's contact ground. 120.025, and it did auto-tune that for me. Tucson ground, southwest 1132, ready for pushback and engine start. Southwest 1132, Tucson ground. Pushback approved. Pushback facing east. Pushback facing east for southwest 1132. All right, we'll come down here, go to our FS actions and do a pushback. I'll turn and let's see here. Turn nose to the right. Yes, that's what I want. Okay. And select a tug. And start.
<laughs> I forgot to release the jetway. Oh, well. I'm just a cluster of a pilot today. I will fully admit that. What's going on with my engine start? Oh, wrong switch. Remember when we were talking about the APU bleed? <sighs> hey, the engine's starting. No, they're not, because the packs are on. Wow. I'm, like, a fool right now. At least you guys know how quickly I'm catching the error, so you know at least I do know what I'm doing. I'm just too excited to pay attention to what I'm doing. That was one. Skywest forty eight ninety three, request taxi to the gate. Skywest 4893, taxi to ramp 10 via Bravo, Alpha, Echo. Hold short runway 2 liner right. Taxi to ramp 10 via Bravo, Alpha, Echo. Hold short runway 2 liner right, Skywest 4893. Watching the flaps come up and down, like when I'm really flying, like on a real airplane, is probably one of my favorite parts and I don't know why, but like, I totally love the hell out of it. Okay, so let's see here. All right, both engines are started. Let's come up top. Set them both to continuous. Ignition to both. Set the generators. APU off. Zone temp issues. I've seen this air before. I'm not quite sure what that's about. The ram door full open. I'm wondering if it has to do with the outside air temperature, but I'm not sure. Let me turn the APU bleed off now. Packs back on. Everything else looks good to go. I'm not worried about zone temps. Everything else is check. All right. <clears throat> Auto brakes are set. Spoilers are armed. Initial speed is set. I think we're golden. All right. And I do believe we are ready to contact ground. Ground, ready for taxi. Southwest 1132. Aircraft calling ground for taxi instruction. <laughs> Say call sign. Didn't like that. Ground, Southwest 1132 requesting taxi for runway 11 left. Aircraft calling ground for taxi instruction. Say call <laughs> sign. Southwest 1132. Southwest 1132, runway 11 left, taxi via Alpha Echo. 
Taxi via Alpha Echo for runway 11 left, Southwest 1132. How do you like that? How do you like that? None of this Southwest 1132 taxi to Alpha. No more of that. You just talk. Ah, so awesome. All right, let's do this. Let's do this, gangsters. My flight simulation gangsters. a freaking cool thing man I just it's gonna really reshape how ATC is done it's gonna reshape the expectation of, of um, what we have been calling AI ATC this is AI ATC this is what it's supposed to be um, now not to say that the, you know the technology wasn't there before it just wasn't I get that absolutely um, but man these guys grabbed it oh knock it off Southwest 11.32, contact tower 119.0. Contact tower on 190, Southwest 11.32. Thank you. Have a good day. Tower, Southwest 1132, holding short, runway 11 left, ready for departure. Aircraft calling tower, Damn say it. call sign. Get it Southwest 1132. Southwest 1132, runway 11 left, line up and wait. Line up and wait, runway 11 left, Southwest 1132. Notice the windsock. So much for that live weather being right. We're taking off with a tailwind. And uh, beyond ATC and Simbrief both agreed that we should be using one one left. Meet our information for. I'm looking it up right now. Meet our information for Tucson currently. Live weather. Um, shows one one left as the active runway. Or not meet our ATIS. Southwest 1132, Tucson Tower, wing 330 at 09er. 
gusts 1-5, are now to burrow. Runway 11 left, cleared for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff, runway 11 left, southwest 1132. Clock. Let her rip. Ugh, why are we doing this? I don't know what the takeoff config error is. Just gonna have to ignore it. It'll go away once we get airborne. Just gotta ignore it now. It has been doing that to me every single time I take off in the 737-800. Every single time. I don't know why. Delta 2744, holding short 29 or right. Delta 2744, Tucson Tower, wing 330 at 09 or gusts 15. Runway 29 or right, cleared for takeoff. Delta 2744, right, cleared for takeoff now. 29 or right. Southwest 1132, contact Tucson departure 128.5. Have a good flight. Southwest 1132, negative. Departure frequency 128.5. Mm -hmm. Contact departure on 128.5, Southwest 1132. Thank you. Tucson departure, Southwest 1132. Climbing through 5,000 with you. I don't know if I hit my button. Southwest 4872, contact Albuquerque oh, Center 133. Have a good flight. Oh, stepping on somebody. And they will yell at you, too. Southwest 4872, contact it. Albuquerque Center 133. Have a good flight. Aircraft calling Tucson departure, say call sign. I would love to. <laughs> Albuquerque Center 133, good day. Southwest 4872. Tucson departure, Southwest 1132, climbing through 5,000 with you. Aircraft calling Tucson departure, say call sign. Southwest 1132. Southwest 1132, Tucson departure, radar contact. Climb and maintain 17,000. Climb and maintain 17,000, Southwest 1132. Tucson, Delta 2740 for 3,000 for 4,500. Delta 2744, radar contact. Oh. I wonder if my spoilers weren't armed. I thought I armed them. The arm, no, the arm light was on. I don't know what happened there. I mean, everything's working fine now, but it happens to me every single time on takeoff, and it's only the 800. I don't have any problems with the takeoff config on the 700. Do the exact same procedures. I can zip through it just like you guys saw me do, and even making the mistakes and being silly and not paying attention. But I don't have any of the problems. And it's only on takeoff. But every time I do a takeoff, I get a um, takeoff config. So I'm not sure what's going on there. I don't know if that's a bug or what. But tell me this ATC experience isn't phenomenal. This is such a cool process. All right. So now we just sort of hang out and chat a little bit. Give you guys a bit of uh, further information on some of the stuff that's pretty cool. Um, so as you guys can see, the, for, first off, my biggest thing right out of the gate, and we'll talk more about this, especially when we do the interview with the developer. Um, and by the way, the developer, I will not be using his real name. It has to do with real world interactions and other partnerships, things like that. It just not, not a, not an okay thing to do right now. Uh, so I will not be using his real name. You guys will be hearing hear me probably use his discord handle. 
Um, but anyway, wanted to give you guys a heads up on that. Uh, we're definitely going to respect the wishes there. Um, and uh, one of my favorite things about this whole software is the fluidity in which you're able to speak. You're able to speak completely natural. You're able to really give yourself a test. You know, you guys have heard me a couple times stumble over my words and trip over my words. You know, I can't remember the last time I used ATC prior to using this software and mess around with it the last couple of days. And uh, it's just been an amazing experience. And it's because I, I, there's no more reading verbiage back verbatim. You know, the other ATC programs, don't get me wrong, they had their time, they had their place. Uh, in my personal opinion, this is going to change that whole game. Um, and I'm sure that by now you guys have probably already heard enough where you're like, damn, you know. Um, and this is really going to be impressive. It's really going to be impressive. It's really going to be something that's going to be... Um, Hard to ignore, um, and I, I don't want to. <laughs> this is such an incredible piece of software, and, and the nature in which it recognizes speech is incredible. It's not just a matter of matching words verbatim, but being able to put that information in different places. Uh, being able to throw things in there like, uh, you know, good morning and, and have a good day and things like that. Yes, you're talking to AI. But you, you know, if you're, especially if you're someone who's going to be going for a pilot's license, like eventually myself. Southwest 1132, contact Albuquerque Center at 133.0. Have a good day. Contact Albuquerque Center on 330, Southwest 1132. Thank you. Perfect example, something like that. Albuquerque Center, Southwest 1132, climbing through 15,000 with you. Aircraft calling Albuquerque Center. Hammer. Say call sign. Southwest 1132. I need to. I always Southwest forget to. Southwest 1132. End with radar call contact. Sign. Climb and maintain flight level 340. Climb and maintain flight level 340. Southwest 1132. But um, anyway, yeah. So just things like that. You know, like what I just did there, and you know. I like that it says, you know, give you guys something funny. Um, if you keep, st you guys probably heard me when we were trying, uh, getting into departure. I kept stepping on traffic. That dude sound you guys kept hearing uh, was me stepping on, on other callers. If you keep doing that, not only does it tell you to stop it, it starts to get angry with you. Uh, you literally start to get uh, a meaner tone and more aggressive responses, responses the more that you try to step on other traffic. Uh, so... I mean, just things like that. I mean, when, when have you seen an AI do that? When have you seen an AI get frustrated? Um, it's really just, it's, it's a marvel. And I'm, I'm trying to keep the talk about some of the stuff we're going to be talking about the interview uh, down to a minimum here. I mean, I've got my own set of questions. Please, guys, I can't stress it enough. If you guys have questions, make sure you join the Discord. There will be a channel, uh, again, titled Interview Questions. And it is time to switch over to Standard um titled interview questions uh that you guys are definitely going to want to be a part of um if you want your, your questions answered um it's going to be it's going to be a hoot and i'm so grateful for the opportunity to showcase this software for you guys i'm so grateful to have the ability to experience it for myself so early i mean it's just um atc talking to atc is one of those things that's naturally uncomfortable like just right from the start, it, it's it's uncomfortable. Um, and so when you have a program like this, that I mean, this is the first ATC that, in my opinion, is a genuine has has I should say has the genuine possibility of being a realistic training tool because you can speak like yourself. Um, and you guys saw the training that I did. You know, the voice training. It's one line. You do one line of training, and then off you go. It does not use Windows recognition. Um, it has nothing to do with the Windows uh, text-to-speech software, or, or I should say speech-to-text software. Um, it's just, it's badass. Southwest 1132, contact Los Angeles Center at 127.52. Have a good day. Contact Los Angeles Center at 12752, thank you. Southwest 1132. I might have screwed that one up. Oh, nope, it got it. Los Angeles Center, Southwest 1132 at 34,000 with you now. Southwest 1132, radar contact. Awesome sauce. 
Okay, so as we're getting closer to the top of Descent, I want to give you guys a heads up. So, uh, the developer has assured me that it will actually tell you to Descent. However, I'm one of those ones that I want to be down at my top of Descent. Um, and what he's basically said is that the calculations for top of Descent from the ATC program may not be the same as the aircraft. Um, and I'm very, I'm a big stickler about getting on my top of Descent when the top of Descent arrives, right? You know, right here. Now, so you can either wait for ATC to guide you down, uh, but it may be past your TOD point that you have here on the nav display. Or what you can do is you can actually request your descent as you get close. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to request our descent. Uh, just because, again, I don't want to miss it. Unless by chance we get it early. I mean, I'm going to wait until we're almost on it, but I definitely don't want to miss it. So I'm going to start setting my altitude down. We're just going to go to like 15,000 for now. And then uh, we'll descend via the SID. You can almost guarantee that's the instruction we'll get. If we get something different, we'll change it. But So I did want to give you guys that heads up. Um, and again, that's just been my experience thus far. And that's my paranoia. I hate missing my descent. Okay, it's like one of those things like, I think the descent is the worst thing to miss. <laughs> you know, because then everything after that is a fight the whole way down. Uh, let's go ahead and set our minimums here. Uh, it's going to be 304 feet, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. And we've already got our ILS information in. We're on a flaps 30 configuration is what we've got locked in here in the FMC. So got our, already got our reference speed of 148 knots. Uh, we can go ahead, hopefully we don't have to change it, but we'll put in our final approach course. 2-5 run for runway 24 right. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to get a little bit closer here. And the engines are already starting to roll back in preparation. All right, let's, let's make the call. Los Angeles Center, Southwest 1132 requesting descent. Southwest 1132, descend via Hollywood 1 with the eastward transition. Los Angeles International Airport landing runway 24 right, altimeter 29090. Descend via the star with the eastward transition, Los Angeles Center, uh, International Airport. Expect runway 24 right, altimeter 29090, Southwest 1132. They took it. They liked it. Isn't that cool? <laughs> That's so awesome. All right. Los Angeles Empress 7693 with you 9000 for 13 13500. Empress 7693, radar contact. Climb and maintain flight level 180. Climb and maintain Southwest 1132. Contact SoCal approach 128.5. Take care. Contact SoCal Approach 128.5, Southwest 1132. Thank you. Los Angeles, Empress 7696. SoCal Approach, Southwest 1132, descending through 13,000 with you now. Southwest 1132, Los Angeles International Airport, altimeter 29090. Expect the ILS 24 right. Expect ILS 24 right, altimeter 29090. Southwest 1132. Southwest 1132, cleared direct Sivu. Cross Sivu at or above 1414,000. Cleared ILS 24 right approach. Okay, so we're already above that altitude or below that altitude, so that can't happen, but we'll still repeat the instruction. Clear direct Sivu, cross Sivu at or above 14,000. Cleared the ILS 24 right approach. Southwest 1132. Southwest 1132, Oops. negative. Cleared ILS 24 right approach. I think I sort of stumbled my words there. Cleared ILS 24 right approach. Southwest 1132. Southwest 1132, negative. Cleared ILS 24 right approach. I'm saying something too fast. Cleared ILS 24 right approach. Southwest 1132. Southwest 14910. Contact Los Angeles like Center 119. I think I was sort of mumbling. Los Angeles Center 119.95. <laughs> Good day. Southwest 14910. Oh. 
Southwest 1132. Contact Los Angeles Tower 119.8. Take care. Contact Tower 119.8. Southwest 1132. Thank you. Los Angeles Tower, Southwest 1132, descending through 2500 on final for ILS 24 right. Volaris 922, clear of 24 left. Southwest 1132, Los Angeles Tower Tower, go ahead. Volaris 922, you were blocked. Say again. Yeah. Southwest 1132, Los Angeles Tower Tower, go ahead. All aircraft, please wait until I'm done speaking to call in. Southwest Volaris 1132 on final for blocked. ILS 24 right. Volaris 922, clear of 24 left. Volaris needs to shut Southwest up. Southwest 1132, Los Angeles Tower, runway 24 right, continue. Continue landing, runway 24 right, Southwest 1132. Volaris 922, contact ground 121.4. Okay. Southwest 1132, runway 24 right, wing 250 at 12, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 24 right, Southwest 1132. Ground 121.4, Valaris 922. Los Angeles, Skywest 5372, just got the switch. Skywest 5372, Los Angeles Tower, wing 250 at 12. Cleared to land 25 left. Cleared to land 25 left, Skywest 5372. Los Angeles, Delta 563, just got the switch. ILS 24 right. Delta 563, Los Angeles Tower, wing 250 at 12. Clear to land 24 right. Clear to land 24 right, Delta 563. Come on, get back on it. There we go. Swiss 40, ILS 24 right. Swiss 40, Los Angeles Tower, wing 250 at 12. Clear to land 24 right. Clear to land 24 right, Swiss 40. Southwest 3296, contact SoCal Departure 128.5. Have a good flight. SoCal Departure 128.5, good day, Southwest 3296. Skywest 4D53, contact SoCal Departure 128.5, good day. Departure 128.5, good day, Skywest 4D53. Southwest 1132, vacate at Zulu. Vacate at Zulu, Southwest 1132. Had to bring up the charts, make sure I knew where Zulu was. All right, let's get the aircraft. Southwest up. 1132, contact ground 121.4. Contact. Contact Southwest ground 1132, negative, Southwest ground frequency 121.4. I just did. Did it catch that one or not? Contact ground 121.4, Southwest 1132. Southwest 1132, welcome to Los Angeles International Airport. Ramp 206 taxi via Zulu, Echo, Echo 17. Hold short runway 06 right. Taxi to ramp 206 via Zulu, Echo, Echo 17, hold short, runway 06 right, Southwest 1132. Southwest 1132, cross 06 right at Zulu. Continue taxi via Zulu, Echo, Echo 17. Cross 06 right at Zulu, continue taxi via Zulu, Echo, Echo 17, Southwest 1132. Oh, well. Anyway, that's just bad parking. That has nothing to do with the ATC. That's all me. I suck. Um, so, anyways, guys, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. I am absolutely blown away by it. Again, this is beyond ATC. No, it is not released yet, you guys. So, I know people are going to be asking, where do you get it? Please remember, this is early access. This is exclusive access. 
uh, to the ATC, Beyond ATC developers, once again, thank you so much for this opportunity to even represent your incredible product. This is a blast. And you guys, there will be more videos coming down the line with Beyond ATC. Um, I actually just got a new update from the developer stating that they have a new build for me with tons of bug fixes. And I want you guys to think about that for a second. And he was saying bug fixes based on my previous flights, which is the same flight that I've been doing here, guys. Um, I didn't have any issues with it. And so what does that tell you guys? I mean, this thing is going to be so refined and dined. I just can't wait. As always, guys, stay safe and healthy. Don't forget about the interview tomorrow night or Thursday night. I will let you know via the comment field um, with the developer of Beyond ATC that is also going to be exclusive to Overkill Simulations.